Sam Graham with a dollar. How much to go bald again? How much to go bald again, right? Um. Okay, okay. How much to go bald again? I kind of like me hair now, you know. I'd go bald again. Or oh, 100 quid. That would be it. So if we, if we donate 100 quid, I'll go bald in my next video. I'll go bald. I'll go bald. How much for your eyebrows? <laughs> this up, you twat. I'd shave my eyebrows off for 500 quid, mate. 500 quid, that's all. But I can't go to a school prom because uh, once... Uh, Tom Kirkham, baby! Harry Potter is dead. Oh god man. Hi hey guys, just 15% of Logan Paul's testicle checking in on y'all. You probably remember me from such classics as this. I never told anyone <laughs> to get cancer. Not one of me proudest days. When I featured in a Hollywood blockbuster. Oh, I love your job. And when I used to live in a council house. Yeah man, I'm a gangster man. Just before you stress out, I'm not an albino. I didn't wake up with alopecia. And I'm not going to be making an appearance on Make-A-Wish anytime soon. However, if the directors at Make-A-Wish are watching, I would like a taxi straight to the Belgravia Centre. And on that note, just like my hairline, we're going to go back 48 hours to be exact to where this all started. <laughs> Wanker. Sorry Nana, thanks for coming, you know, have a good night's sleep. Now if you're thinking, this is the worst that it could possibly get, Cam's officially hit rock bottom. I'm just going to warn you, you better buckle up sister because a storm is brewing. Oh, now I won't be allowed next to a school. Not that I want to be, you know, just if I was passing by. Birthdays in two weeks if you couldn't hear us. I'm keeping my voice down because, you know, me Nana's there. I was going to see two females. I was gonna have a nice time, but I can't now because I'm gonna have no fucking eyebrows. Fucking eyebrows! Are you taking the mic? What? What? Someone called Will and E. What did Yeah, donated. Will and E what? Will and E wanker. That's what I call him. I only came on to say hello. Oh. How much to pierce your nipples? I'm not a performing monkey. Look, spider, yeah. Piss off, prick. Jesus Christ, my balls stink. How much for a, 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 a sex transplant? I don't want a pussy. You know, I don't even have a cat. I feel like the club, like Voldemort, people are going to be waving their wands at us, you know? Not for the first time. A man's waved his wand at us. Not in a gay way, you know? It's just a very dark room. How much to bleach your arsehole? Nothing, Maddie, because nothing's going to be going up it. Just down, right? It's a one-way system, and nothing's going up. It's one way, you've got to give way to everything that comes down it. Are you a nonce? No. Whatever happened between me and that dog, I was just giving it a cuddle. Fuck me life, just fuck me life. At this stage, one of me kidneys was up for 200 pound, and as a 1,000 pound jackpot, I was selling a sex change. You know, I might as well have been running my own fucking eBay auction at this point. I'm just going to get this straight off me chest. William Nenny, well, he's a sad little man. I used to like that man a lot more before he started putting Yasmin in his green tea. Jesus Christ, I'm excited for this one. Being a teenager, to walk around with no hair or no eyebrows. What? What? I can't believe my own ears. <gasps> oh god. So before we get into the actual shaving part, I think it's only fair on the rest of the world if we take the piss out of William Lenny. <laughs> so first off, I managed to get hold of the new clothing line. Shovel. Fuck And ironically, I put this hoodie exactly where it belongs. In the dirt. See, this wasn't the only thing to get stitched up. It's taken from his famous shovel list, which by my calculations, won't be the only register that he ends up on. It's just a satire joke. Take a great big shovel and... And what? Tell someone they've got a spider on their back? I mean, who am I kidding? How am I meant to tell people that I've got a highbrow comedy channel when I haven't even got brows myself? My question for Will, did somebody finish early on him? You know, wouldn't be the first time. But my favourite video from Will is... I hate April Fool's Day pranks with an A. British vlogger. So I see that somebody was joining in on the festive jokes. But my favourite part of this video is Will struggling to fight over the sound of the brass band in the corner of his room. Hey, I woke up, right, and I was just scrolling through my Twitter. I came across this tweet, right? <laughs> you know, it really has a bit of ambiance, which the wall light in the backdrop failed to deliver. So after crying myself to sleep and looking at myself with respect for the very last time, I set off on a pilgrimage to hell, otherwise known as London.
So I arrived at Brian's house and in true London fashion, I decided to beat out the biggest sketch live on the kickoff. The problem with Dan is that uh, every time he gets remotely close to a girl, he has to send a photo of his penis. Right. Is he Aussie a dick pic sender? Uh, he's. Is he? It, Religiously swears uh, by it. Swears seriously? by it. Yeah. Wow. Like, there's a religion that swears uh, by it. Has that. it? <laughs> can I? You know, we have a spoon with two girls. Alright. Right. right? Um, this isn't gonna end well, is it? It never ends well with uh, two girls. Anyway, he's talking them, chatting on. He gets a little bit drunk. He goes to the toilet. Right. We have a spoon's toilet. For some reason, in the toilet, he takes a photo of his penis and sends it to them exact two girls on the table. Then returns to them. As if nothing. As happened. if nothing's happened. And then apparently the girls just went. Well, that was unexpected. Right. Some, Some people which, do... This is the response you always want. When yeah. You, when, you, when you he does, put yourself he does, out there... He doesn't woman. surprise... <laughs> that wasn't expected. <laughs> this guy doesn't strike me as that type of guy. Um, I think it's just been... I think it's a bit of a dry patch for him. Um, do you think... Is, is he just thinking... Like, if, quite if, the opposite, really. well, 19 years of dry patch. If... if, if <laughs> 19 years of a dry patch. <laughs> is, is he at the point where he's thinking... Look, if no one's going to touch it, someone's going to say it at the very least. Is that what he's thinking? Um, I wow. think he just wants to get himself out there. Just sure. He's not the best at marketing. I read that on a wanted poster. He, um, he, he needs to realise that it's not like estate agents where you sort of show pictures. Yeah, and that, you and can't like, just have a preview. Is that spacious. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. If, you know? if anything, it's probably good to keep it a surprise. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. I think um, like the washing machine when you first move in. You know, you don't know what it's like, but you still want to yeah, put your clothes in it. Exactly like that. You know, but I, I think. Like, do you have any tips from what, what you could do? I mean, there's definitely I think one. We need tip. to set them down, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> just stop exposing yourself to women. Do you know what I mean? That would be the number one. Yeah. Take That's the top there. Geordie tip of the day, isn't Realistically, it? Realistically, and if any of you out there are doing this, then I would say do. do the the not funny thing do is, that. whenever he sends a photo, he never hears anything from them. I, 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 w I wouldn't have thought so either. Are you enjoying where you are now then? Is that, are you moving so up? I moved back yesterday. That, yesterday was the first day. Oh, really? Um, Less penis pictures in this place, is it? Um, just me Nana, so hopefully not. Alright. Oh, you know. Doing fine well in an hour that people will be stopping us in the street thinking I'm the leader of the X-Men. So after the show I went for a piss, then I returned upstairs to see Kristen, Lawrence and Brian waiting for my head. It was like a fucking western. And on the topic of the X-Men, Will and E rocked up in his favourite Wolverine jacket with a brand new razor. They brought a fucking razor to a fucking shub tat and tear dipsticks is where the fuckery commenced. Where's the cam? Oh. <laughs> Hello mate, you okay? Yeah, nice of you to join with today, you know. <laughs> Got an audience as well apparently from the concert. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> come yourself down with you. Here's job too. I had my own crew to be a rate of ten hours all I fucking knew. Can you do me a favour, pick that up and throw it over the side for me please? So <laughs> Are you taking the piss? No, please. Yeah, yeah, can we can we with can the eyebrows? With the and yes, this is why I now look like Gollum. If any ladies are happening to be watching this video, I can't make great use of a ring. You know, in more ways than one. Not at the same time. No! You know, I can't be bending over. We can't be bending over with the priest behind me. That's what he's all the boys are for. I, I, I'll, I'll let myself out, yeah? <laughs> I'm joking, okay? It's all satire. I've got when Jesus was nailed to the cross here. It's just unfortunate for the altar boys that they get nailed in a very different way. This video took a turn for the worse. I'm joking, okay? I'm Catholic myself. Some would say it brings a whole new level of meaning to worship. However, these next few months of my life will be quite telling as I go on a pilgrimage to inevitably rediscover my virginity. Let's just say that here, here, and possibly here won't be the only dry patches I'll be experiencing. When I first spotted Brian with the razor in his hand, one prominent thought entered my mind. Put the razor down, cupcake, and piss off. Have you seen this, man? I look like I've been through two divorces and the loose woman omnibus. It's ironic that I'm dressed in red because I look like Deadpool when he takes off his mask. Most likely, I resemble something that appears in the corner of your room when you go through sleep paralysis. Oh, hey. So I thought, for the final part of this video, why don't we have a little look at you twats? So we're going to have a little look back at the live stream comments because apparently on this channel, we've got a few comedians. So the first part I think we're going to explore is me nana. You know, not in an inbred way. No! You know? However, judging by some of these live stream comments, well, that could be more of a respectable option at this point. Three off the bat, best being said, I'd shag Voldemort, to be honest. Now, I don't know if that's meant to be a dig, but hey, try explaining that one to your dad. Hi, Dad. You okay? You know, bit of a controversial opinion for you, but I want to have sexual intercourse with a noseless man 
who's got a slightly unhealthy obsession with a teenage boy. It's best being open, the chain bab secrets, she said. All right, Voldemort, is that your wonder? You're just happy to see us. Now I was looking down the comments when me nana came in, and overall, they were bloody lovely. Some people said hello, some people, you know, saying she's an angel. Except Alice, who I'm, uh, I'm guessing's going through a bit of a dry patch at the minute, as she said. Take off your top, nana. Yep, brilliant. Not really appropriate, is it? The woman worked as a nurse for 30 years. Give her a break! Even if she wanted to fulfil your request, she probably would have just delegated the job to a student nurse. You're right, Nana. It's a joke, Nana. You know, I'm just providing the people with the daily dose of hospital bans. Oh, this channel just gets worse and worse. And just before I stop looking at the comments, Morgan Kerr came in with the classic ranty line, Can I rim job your nan? And on that note, I think it's time that we'll pull out. So to speak. And I've got one job for you. I want you to leave an insult about this. And the best one gets pinned. Well, see here, you better leave a like. I shave my head for this shit. If we get 10k likes, right, I'll write in red pen, your ma is your da, on my eyebrows for the next one. And I'm going to leave you with my favourite tweet of the whole saga by a Mr. Callum's Corner. Welcome to the Tic Tac Club, my friend. Like I said, Callum, I'm honoured to be among such company, but I'm not a sodding Tic Tac. As a wise man once said, it is a nice head. And I've got the shout outs for today's video. The Twitter shout out is Sexual Laws. You know, that rings a bell, as it were. Instagram shout out, we've got Cillian or Killian1997, so make sure you go and follow them. You know the score by now. If you want a shout out on Twitter, all you need to do is go on my Twitter at Cam Kirkman underscore. I've put a tweet of the video, just a tweet that. Then you've got a Twitter shout out. If you want your Instagram shouted out, all you need to do is you see this photo, my new Instagram photo, just comment down below, your mars your da, then your Instagram shout it out. And I subscribe if you're new. I love every single one of you to pieces. You are absolutely changing me life. I, I, I kind of appreciate the support you give us enough. So, uh, I, I love you to pieces, dipsticks, and uh, I'll see you in a bit.